just the other day, we're all familiar in the crypto space with Discord. Discord had a data breach and it leaks 70,000 government IDs used for age verification. That's not all it leaked. There was terabytes of data that were taken. And this is due to the kind of rickety tech stack that we have. And what I want to do, we've not spoke about ICP in a while, is just reintroduce to people what it's trying to do. But one thing I am looking for is when the spotlight shifts to this new narrative for uh, utilizing a distributed ledger that I think is absolutely huge. Right now, the, the narrative is all around financial products, but there's a broader application for DLTs and ICP is it. The internet computer is truly a revolutionary uh, blockchain project. And I often see people comparing ICP with other distributed ledgers. The only thing they're comparable on is the actual underlying DLTs and the capabilities of it. As a project, it is truly unique and trying to actually enable Web3, which is the kind of evolution of the internet, whereas most other distributed ledgers actually aren't. Um, so I was scrolling through X as you do, getting my dopamine hits, uh, or my fear hits as it's increasingly becoming. I saw this, this is from Dominic Williams. A cyber attack has taken out Jaguar Land Rover's production line, sales and supplier line. It's only alive thanks to a $1.5 billion, this is pounds actually because we're here in the UK, government loan. ICP enables responsible AI to create self-writing production apps from tamper-proof on-chain software. The way things are built on the internet is based on a kind of, almost at this point, archaic tech stack. Kind of like what's happening with the financial system. Whereas most cryptos are addressing the financial system, ICP is actually addressing the internet and how that's put together. And this makes ICP unique and something to pay attention to. 